What's up, Wellies? This is Dave Householder with your daily dose of Bible encouragement. I am here in 1 Timothy 1. And one of the problems with our North American culture is that it's all striving and achievement oriented. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a goal and focusing on it and getting there. And there's millions of self-help books that give you all the steps for becoming rich, famous, successful, all of those things. And the truth is, it's a grind. It's competitive. Now, there's nothing wrong with competition either. A little healthy competition brings out the best in all of us. But this this whole sense of striving, and if you excel, if you become excellent, everybody has to be excellent. Well, everybody can't be excellent because everybody can't excel everyone else. So this whole idea that we have to be exceptional is something that is a part of our whole uh, TV, movie, media, folk culture, as far as that goes. And it uh, wears us down, especially in times like 2020, when we're facing a fairly stiff headwind of all kinds, lots of things going wrong in our society. And uh, we're facing this, this stiff headwind, and we're supposed to be striving. And this, this creates despair, fatigue, depression, all kinds of discouragement. And so what we want to do here is look at biblical spirituality and how biblical spirituality has a cure for the striving disease. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't go after things, shouldn't have goals, but First Timothy 1, Paul, the Apostle Paul, the capital P Paul, the sort of captain of the New Testament as far as writing goes, Paul is writing to Timothy, his protege, and he is encouraging him, much like I'm trying to encourage you. And he encourages Timothy by talking about his own experience. And here in chapter 1, verse 14, he says to Timothy, I was flooded with such incredible grace like a river overflowing its banks. Super abundant grace. More grace than you need. Now, here's the deal. In our North American uh, achievement culture, We think in terms of climbing this stairway to heaven. And those of us who grew up in the 60s and 70s, we remember hearing that. This was this massive rock song. And the sense of climbing, striving, going after things, climbing the corporate ladder is exhausting. And there's always someone ahead of you. So you never really get to the top. And even those who get to the top or get to the top, as they call it, often are very dissatisfied when they get there. It's an upward orientation. And the truth is, in biblical spirituality, everything is coming downward. Everything is coming straight down from on high. So what I'm trying to say is this. It's a matter of receptivity, not striving. Now, it's really important to get this. It's important that we try not to strive to please God, because that's never going to happen. Paul, Martin Luther, 500 years ago, others finally gave up on that, and they instead opened themselves up receptivity-wise to receiving grace of God, the grace of God, this superabundant grace. Now, superabundant grace, this this power, this life force, uh, Tahar de Chardin called that uh, Elan Vital, this, 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 this life force that comes down from heaven. We just receive. Our bodies are built to be receivers of God's grace, forgiveness, joy, spirit. And where that connects with us, Jesus called Malkuth, or kingdom, where the spiritual is received by the physical. And we see that in his miracles where he lays hands on people and the spiritual flows through him and it throws through physical hands and people get healed. So it's not a matter of how much you're going to attain, how much you're going to achieve. It's how much you're going to receive. And receiving is what it is all about. Paul says here in verse 16, I was captured by grace, grace that comes from on high. Grace is the same word become the the Spanish word gracias or thanks or the the kind of giftedness. The, The word charismatic comes from that, the idea of gifts, the idea that we don't earn these things. We're all in such an earning based society and we skip receiving. And the truth is, the more we receive from God, 
the less stress we have in our lives and the more we can use our gifts and generate all kinds of joy in the lives of people around us and in our own hearts too. Let me sum up. It's not bottom up, climb, 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 strive, 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 strive. I know there's a really steep hill outside of our place in the desert. And we like to go up on the ridge and uh, and look down. It's a beautiful view. But our hearts start to pound on the way up because it is so steep and it's so hot in the desert. And a lot of us, our hearts are pounding emotionally because we're always on this endless climb. I'd like to invite you to stop climbing and start receiving, receiving all that is coming from on high. That is the key to joy. That is the key, ironically, to achievement. If you really want to achieve something uh, for the kingdom, for your life, you want to do what God puts you here to do, you've got to receive the power he gives you. So I just want to invite you to do that. Receive from on high today, just for a moment in your prayer time. Stop striving and start receiving. That's the good news for today. And I will talk to you again tomorrow.